Welcome back, everybody. My name is Relic, and we are playing Call of Cthulhu. Um, we had a pretty creepy dream last time, and then found out that we're about to lose our license if we don't start accepting more cases. And then we had somebody come in with a creepy painting asking me to find out why his daughter died when he doesn't think that she's crazy. But, uh, I mean, that looks like a crazy person painting. But we'll find out. We're off to Darkwater, which is where she lived when she died. Obtained one CP, it said. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbed painting. On the shipping label and address, a warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. Place seems to be the starting point for Pierce's investigation. Since this is a Lovecraftian thing, we have to, of course, be taking a creepy boat through foggy water. Okay. Creepy is the boat that we're on. Call of Cthulhu. Sila. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you. Why, thank you, Captain Victoria. <laughs> so, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. Welcome to Darkwater. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A ah, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Is that a whale? Bar. I'm on the job now. Hey, Sullivan. Can't go any faster. Just how old is this thing? 
force it too much will break everything. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. <laughs> you shysters? They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't. Don't put that beast yeah, back okay. in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. <laughs> They're cops. I like they the way can't he says that. Damn stupid shysters. Idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. He's going to get us into trouble. Can't you can see that I'm busy, can't you? You can't understand. <laughs> You're not sailors. It's a sign. The sign. Is the weird green smoking lantern also a sign? It seems pretty signy. He said that there's a surprise for me here. I'm not. I'm gonna try not to drink anything. If it gives me that option. Hey guys, how's it going? Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. You saw what happened. He's the troublemaker. Oh, you're a true mainlander. A real princess. You strut around with your la-di-da ways, and then, as soon as the pressure arises, you start squealing. You don't have what it takes to drink my whiskey. You've got to earn it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak, then. I reserve the right to answer or not. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean, who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? What can you tell me about it? We all knew she was famous on the mainland, for her paintings. 
Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her vision, was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah, well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. I've got what I need. Anything else? The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water, when our whalers left for long months and came back sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. That'll be all for now. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. Scylla returns to port to save Darkwater from famine. We had given up hope the crew of the Scylla, or what remains of it, returned to Darkwater port late on Tuesday afternoon. The locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessel had on board. Of a size that went beyond that of the formidable toothed whales, the cetacean, I don't know, I don't pronounce that, that is covered, that is already being called the Miraculous Catch, covered the whole deck and parts of it were hanging over the sides of the ship. The surviving sailors told a frightening account of their perilous catch, but also of its meat unmatched in its quality and plentiful nutritious benefits. There is no doubt that the immense size of this whale will allow numerous inhabitants of dark water to feed themselves, bringing in an end to the famine in which part of the island was suffering. Warehouse for rent. Mr. Marks is putting his warehouse up for rent from June for fishing, workshop of storage activities. You can contact him via your favorite newspaper or visit him on the docks. Special evening at the Stranded Whale. A celebration to celebrate the return of our brave whalers, all the staff of the Stranded Whale invite you to an exceptional and free tasting event. Come with your family or with friends to taste mar Taste the miraculous catch. Each person will leave with a bottle of oil, so don't hesitate. There's probably something weird about that whale. Always check the back. Then he said, you have no right to treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he say? He laughed. My God. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations. Gifted with its what? own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader. What are you talking about, then? Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. 
You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last. The biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's saved. the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. What you looking at, stranger? The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, go into the bar. You have no right to treat us this way. Winchester. Go take a look at those documents. Hello? Broken. This place seems half abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Captain, the terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier, Cat. Mind me, just poking around. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. A Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. The dates are still legible. 1890, 1907, and a partial date. The rest of the document is blacked out. Who would want this information to be hidden? Write those dates down. Just in case they're important later. Quite like that. Always check the back. <laughs> Just gonna leave me in here with all these records to look at? Okay. Second volume teaches ethics and good practice to medical staff. And I'm a 
apparently taking it. That gave me 2%. And I believe I have 1 CP to spend if I wanted to. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. This photograph, a man who looks like Captain Fitzroy is posing on the bridge of a ship. He has a wooden leg. Maybe the miraculous catch gave everybody here immortality and fixed his leg. <laughs> what a macabre souvenir. Is broken. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor the hard working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these war friends don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it, or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. I was looking at your photograph. That I found in a desk. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other? You're talking about mythology. Ha, <laughs> indeed you're right. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? 
To look into the real cause of its death, at least. I found a threatening letter, signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Mm -hmm. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you Probably not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. The Miraculous Catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the Stranded Whale. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Sure, yeah. This is... This is the bartender, or with the stranded whale. James Fitzroy is the captain. Okay. The entrance of the port of dark water. One still passes in front of the shell of the Scylla, the last whaling ship to have brought back a catch. Sailors wander the docks, looking for some small job for the day. A gang of bootleggers has set itself up there and is gnawing away at the territory. Captain Fitzroy, the last sailor to own a boat capable of making the round trip between the island and the mainland. Here, the golden age of whale hunting is a distant memory. Stranded Whale, a bar where liquor is served with total impunity. It's the last thing I expected to find when I arrived on this island. Stranded Whale is its name, and it's managed with an iron hand by the owner, a certain Mitchell. He does not tolerate troublemakers, and he fiercely protects the identity of his supplier. All the inhabitants of the area seem to go there, and I even saw what looks like a truce between the bootleggers and the sailors. Miraculous Catch is what the locals call the last catch of, the whale, of their whalers. 1847, although whales were disappearing from the fishing zone of the dark water whalers, the crew of the Scylla made a gigantic and monstrous catch that saved the island from famine. They still celebrate this catch, and an article from the time still decorates the bar. It's strange how the memory seems so alive as if it was maintained by the survivors. That's the things that we found so far. Check out the uh, warehouse then. Somebody leaning against the wall there. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way. What could have done so much damage? You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. over here. Yeah, okay. St. Brendan, the Navigator. The weird fish dude wrapped around him. St. Brendan. Patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in.
Yeah, okay. Hmm. Sure, I should definitely be doing that with the cops right up there. Damnation, I broke it. Okay, uh, I think this is probably a good place to pause before we go into Warehouse 36. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll pick it up in the next one. Bye!